So here's the top-down view of the two-dimensional shapes. Notice I'm using my orbit tool and my other viewing tools to zoom in and try to get a better look at it. Make sure you're getting sort of a edge-on view of the, the piece. So next, I, you can see I've used my select tool and I'm trying to use my rotate tool, but notice how the protractor shape is black. Because it's black, I can't really see it, so I need to orbit around to get a red or green. So I'm actually viewing it from the other side so I can get a red or green object. To use the rotate tool, it's a three-step process. You click once at the hinge point, once at the end point, lift it into the air, and click once more. At the bottom right, you have the value control box, or VCB. As you swing your piece through the air, you notice that it, the numbers move. You can set that value by hitting 90 and then Enter. Once you've got that side up, you can start lifting the remaining sides. Now eventually you're going to run into a spot where you have more than one shapes joined together. So you're going to use the Select tool, hold your Shift key, and select the other one. That gets both of them at the same time. And then you rotate the same way. Click your end point, or your hinge point, then move out to your end point, lift it into the air. Um, you can also type in the value at your VCB. Um, use the select button one more time, just like just that remaining surface, and then you can rotate again by clicking the hinge point, then the end point, and bringing it down to close up the box. And there.